Okay. We got that out of the way. Do you live here in town, then? Yes, sir. How long have you lived here? Probably a year, year and a half. Where are you from? I'm from Argo, Idaho, originally. That, were you kind of born and raised? Yeah. Okay. What, what do you do? I'm an electrician. Where are you working at? I'm at a Chibani. In a oh, yeah. Field. Helping them get all that put together. Mm -hmm. What do they expect to be doing with that? Uh, I don't know. They, they expect to be your op operational from one standpoint. I mean, not fully operational, but a little bit of production by December, but other, you know, full production, I have no idea. Yeah. Have, you, have you been out there since the, the start of it? I originally, I think I originally started in like February. Okay. What kind of things do you do on your days off? On my days off? Well, I don't get many. I get Sunday off. Oh, lately. are you supposed to be at work today? Yes. Did yeah. you, did you call in or? Yep. I, I actually... I was uh, at Candy Crest with my boss, oh. so, and he had left, and immediately after all this happened, I tried to call him, my phone died, and then I, oh, as soon as I got home and plugged it in, I let him know, and I called him before I came, he came down. Oh, what's his name? Derek. Derek Foot. Derek Foot. Okay, so he knows, uh, did you tell him you just weren't coming in at all today, or going to be late, or what did you tell him? I texted him, and I said, I'm pretty beat up, and, and I may not make it in, and I do, I'll get in there as soon as I can. I talked to him this morning and I said I'll try to get there as soon as I can, but there's no guarantees. So. Oh, yeah. he, he was okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, like I said, uh, we just kind of figured out what happened out there tonight. And uh, um, I, don't, I don't know how much TV or whatever you watch, but typically, sure. uh, you know, before you talk to a detective or anything like that, they usually advise you of your Miranda rights. Are you familiar with those? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and advise you of your Miranda rights because that's okay. kind of standard operating procedure. Anytime sure. I talk to somebody, it protects you, it protects me, it protects everybody involved, um, but it makes you aware of kind of what's going on. Okay. okay? Uh, the first, first one is you have the right to remain silent. Sure. You understand what that means? Yep. Um, uh, anything you say? can and will be used against you in a court of law. Okay. You have the right to have an attorney present with you while you're being questioned. Okay. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you at no cost. Okay. And you have the right to stop answering questions at any time. Sure. Do you understand those rights? I do. Okay. And you're down here voluntarily on your own? You, yes. Yes, sir. You volunteered to come down here and talk to us yes. and uh, tell us what happened. I, I would like to know what happened tonight. Okay. Um, could I ask you a question? Sure. Is this guy okay? Is he? Um, you know, I haven't heard the latest on him yet. Okay. Uh, but obviously he was involved in the fight as well. And uh, so I'm just trying to piece it together what happened. Okay. And, uh, you know, once I get some more information, I'll let you know. Sure. Okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I'd just like to know kind of from your your point of view as to what happened tonight, how this started. Sure. Um, like I said, I was there with my boss. Um, <clears throat> got dropped off there from some of my friends. Um, I was there for a few hours. What time did you get down there? My buddies were going to a movie. I think it started at I'm not sure if it started at 9 or 9.30. And, and when you say buddies, who, who is it that you're um, Cade Baugh, which the, that's where they picked me up from. Like Cade Baugh's out. Okay. Yeah, and his good friend, Brent, Brent Hilliard, I think his dad's actually the chief of police. Um, Brent Hilliard and and his wife. Okay. And they were going to go see a movie? Yeah, they were going to go see a movie and they wanted me to go, but my boss, I wanted to hang out with him. So they, they dropped me off at Candy Crest. And that was around nine. Yeah, I'm gonna say somewhere around nine. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the, what happened from there? From there, I went in, um, met Derek, sat down. A few other guys I work with were there. Um, had some drinks, talked, 
and eventually everybody, you know, was time to go home. We both had to work today, so we decided to go home. I went outside and I was talking to a random girl that she, she, I think she had a cousin that I went to school with anyway. I was talking to her, and do you know her name? I can't, I can't, I can't remember her name. And it was outside though. Yeah, it was right out front. Yeah, right out front. Okay. And uh, Derek, right? Mm -hmm. Your boss, he'd already left. At yeah, this point. he was gone. Did he? How did he? Did he drive or did he get cabbed? I'm not sure. You know, because I, we were all talking and everything. He's talking about how he was going to go home. When I went out back on the patio, and I was talking to some people, and by the time I came back in, he had already left. So I'm not sure how he, how he got home. I know he leaves. Or he lives pretty near to. In some apartments, so he may have walked. I'm not sure. Okay. So you're out front. You're talking to uh, yeah, some talking girl, to you, you know, her cousin or something. Yeah, she. I went to school with cousins, and we got to talking. And and uh, a kid came out, and I was talking to her, and he said something. And I can't remember. It was something derogatory, something negative. He said something negative, and I looked over. And I recognized him, and I recognized that this kid had started, uh, kind of started some drama before at a bar, and I'm not even sure, I'm not even sure what his name is, he just knows my, my friend Cade, they're, they're like previous acquaintances or something. Okay. Anyway, so, he, so you've seen this kid before? I have seen him before, yes. And, and last time that I saw him was at the pocket, and he had started some drama there. What do you mean by drama? Just saying derogatory negative things, trying to start a fight, basically. Okay. Do you, do you recall anything, like, what he would have said? Uh, I, I remember what he said at the pocket uh, when I saw him previously. He's, what did he say then? <clears throat> and this wasn't the same night. This is weeks ago. Right. He he told me that, you know, my best friend, his name is Cade, my name is Cade, we're always with each other. He, he made a statement that we might, uh, he figured that we were gay out with each other so much and he had some buddies that you know that joined in on the and I've never even met the kid you know and he's called me gay you know that's what started the whole deal and that's that's where I recognized him from did uh did it ever get physical over at the pocket at the pocket no he he did have some friends that told me they're they're gonna wait for me in the parking lot and but when I left they weren't there they didn't see me I don't know they weren't there so and this was a couple weeks ago. Yes. Okay. So you're you're outside Canyon Crest, and outside Canyon Crest, and talking to a girl. And he, this kid says something again. He, yeah, he says something negative, and I look over and recognize him. So, oh, you're that kid that called me my buddy gay, from the from the pocket. Yeah, and from there, you know, he he said something. I said something. We, we got into a discussion. Getting kind of heated. Um, uh, his girlfriend, I remember her, you know, getting pretty heated too. Do you know her name? I don't. I don't know her name. Okay. I'm not even sure what his name is. And he, he may have told me, but I can't remember his name either. Anyway, we, we're getting into a pretty heated discussion. Wait for my cab. Cab pulls up, but it's somebody else's, and I take off. And so you, you'd called a cab by this point? Yeah, I called a cab. I called the cab inside the bar, okay. and I was outside just waiting for Just waiting for it. Mm-hmm. And uh, my cab gets there, and here's here's where I'm getting confused because I'm trying to piece everything back together, and I'm not sure if we got if we got in the altercation, the scuffle, the physical scuffle before I tried to get in the cab or after because I I tried to get in the cab and the cab driver said you know no you're not going and he he kicked me out of the cab basically. Why, why did he say that? Yeah, here's the thing. I'm, I'm not sure if we if we had already gotten a phys physical altercation or if 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 maybe we were in the me and this kid were you know in a heated discussion yelling at each other, but the cab driver either way was like, no, you're not coming with me. You understand? He drove off. But I can't I cannot remember if it if, if it was after we got physical or before. I can't, okay. can't but remember. but at some point you did get physical with this guy. Yes. yes was it just one guy? I, th I think so. Um, I remember I, I got hit. I remember got hit. Um, I got hit multiple times. My jaw is pretty sore. I know I got hit pretty, pretty good amount of times. Um, 
and it went. I remember it went down to the ground, and I'm not sure if I got if somebody's kicking me or it. I remember. I remember when I was getting hit, I was thinking there's multiple people kicking me because he was talking about you know when we were in a heated argument, he was talking about his buddies and how they're gonna throw a blanket party on me and they're gonna stop me down. And I don't tonight, know tonight, just prior to yes. the physical, he was making comments about his buddies taking care of you. Yeah, him and his buddies. But you didn't see anybody else? I, no. It, the only thing, I guess I got hit and I was kind of dazed and I was getting hit and hit and hit. And it was in my mind that there was more than one person, but I, I don't remember looking up and seeing it. You know, I don't know if his girlfriend kicked me or she was kicking me. Or, you know, hopefully there's surveillance or videotape. I'm not sure. It was in my mind that I was getting kicked by like two or three people and getting hit. It, what, and when you're getting kicked, what, what position were you in? I remember, you know, I got punched, we kind of wrestled around. Um, I want to say I went down to my knees. He was kind of down to his knees, uppercutting me. So were you on top of him? I, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. You know, I got hit. I got, he whacked me pretty good. I was dazed and adrenaline and having a few drinks. It's just kind of a blur, you know. I just remember getting hit and telling you, you guys gonna get off me and I'm gonna stick you. I'm gonna stick you, you guys gonna get off me. And that's, that's what I remember. That's it. Other than that, um, I remember him bleeding and I remember seeing the blood trail and, and uh, being kind of scared. Uh, I grabbed my cell phone. I think I took off running. I tried to call. I was either I call, I tried to call my boss or I was dialing 911. My phone died. It was one of those two, but my phone my phone was gone. And then I walked clear to where I was found, probably 600 miles. You walked all the way from Canyon Crest out to the trailer park. Yeah, but yeah. I walked to the to the gas station right there, close, and then to talk to the gas station attendant. And At which gas station? It's, it's on Addison. It's it's the last one going out of town. Oh, the Oasis. Island. Yeah. Right across from the old hospital. Yeah, I talked to them about it. He you know, said, oh, yeah, what happened to you? I talked to him, and there were some people that came in, and they offered to give me a ride, so they gave me a ride from there. Okay. Now, you said you got in a scuffle with this guy, and were you guys exchanging punches? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know that I punched him at all. I know that he punched me. Okay. He punched me, but I don't know that I punched him. No, you said that uh, you said that uh, that you were gonna stick him. What, what did you mean by that? I had my pocket knife. I said, "You need to get off me, or I'm gonna I'm gonna stab you, stick you, stab you." I and you know at this point I didn't know how many freaking guys were hitting me. I was kind of scared, you know. I was dazed. That first hit about knocked me out. Um, yeah, I didn't. Do you remember stabbing this guy at all? I I can't remember what position we were in when it happened. I can't remember if if we were on the ground, if if we were standing up. I can't I can't remember the exact the exact position. But but did you stab him? Yes. Yeah, I did. Do, do you I know did. how many times you stabbed him? I, I don't. More than once. I think twice. So. I think so. I couldn't tell you exact amount. Is uh, this this cut is that a, a result of? I'm 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 not sure how that happened. I could have stabbed myself. I could have landed on glass. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. It, so this this altercation I'm sure. um, started as you were outside waiting for the cab, just talking to a girl. Yes. And he said something to you. Yeah, he said something. Do you remember what that was? He said. I, I don't. I did don't he? Did he like immediately like challenge you after that? Like come up and get in your face, or did you go over and confront him? Do you remember how that? No, he went? said something. He said something. <coughs> he said something negative, and I caught it and said, I can't even remember. I said, I just remember saying, Oh, you're that kid, you know that. You're that fucker that said me and my buddy are gay together, blah, 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 blah. I remember you. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the first thing that I said to him. And then it just kind of escalated yeah, after yeah. that? Yep. Okay. 
but you don't remember uh, if you had got into the cab before this or after this? No, and see, that's where I'm getting blurry. Um, the, I want to say that maybe we got physical and and the cab driver witnessed it and I was getting in and he said no or maybe we were still yelling at each other and he said no I'm not taking you. I, that's that's the one thing that I'm really confused about. I'm not sure you know why he would kick me out or at what point in time it was that he decided that he didn't want to give me a ride. So. You know you said that uh, you said that you noticed uh, the, the blood that he was yeah. bleeding yes, and, and, you, you, and that scared you. It did. Yes. And that was at, was that before or after you uh, stabbed him? That was after. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you don't recall maybe how many times you stabbed him. I don't. I don't recall where times. where you stabbed him. Um, I want to say in the back, maybe like uh, I know that we were we were wrapped up. I think like face to face. Well, you know, kind of like in a clinch. I don't know if he had a hold of me. If I had a hold of him. But I'm pretty sure it was. Were you on the ground? Yeah, or I don't. I don't remember if I was on my knees or if we were standing up. That's the part that I don't remember. But I know it's either inside or in the in the lower back area. Okay. And you, and you think it was more than once, but you're not sure. I think so, yes. Mm -hmm. Did you um, did you say anything else to him while this was going on? While the fight was going on? After you said I'm gonna stick you or stab you? Did you? I just warned him. You know. I off me or I'm going to stab you, I'm going to stick you. Um, after, after he got up and I saw the blood. Uh, Did you say anything to him at that point? I, I think I said, oh fuck, you're bleeding bad. And I think that's the last thing that I said. Okay. Um, and then where did you go after that? Wh which way did you leave? I think I did. Do you remember? I think I took off running, but I'm not sure. Like through the parking lot, or I th through the through the, the dirt parking lot. I mean, I through which direction? The park, it's, I don't remember. You could. At this point, my adrenaline's going so bad, it's just kind of moving. Do you know if you headed towards Washington Street or I, towards? Well, I think so. And I was lost and delirious, and it could have it took me a while. I might have did zigzags the whole freaking way to the gas station. Did you Did you run the whole way to the gas station? No. How far did you run, do you think, after this? I think I ran for a little bit, maybe out of the parking lot, and I started to walk, I think. Did you walk which, Did you walk straight down Washington, or do you know which route you took? Do you know I Washington Street? Yes, I didn't walk straight, straight down. Did you go Washington. by Walmart at all, or did you go? I remember seeing Walmart, but did I did. Did you go by the college? <coughs> I think I went by, I went through part of the college, I think, at some point. Like, like, cut across the campus? I, I think so, yes. I was kind of lost, and okay. I wandered through some neighborhoods for a little bit. I wasn't sure where the hell I was going. Okay. And then eventually I found Martin Street, and from Martin I, I figured out where I was at. Okay. So you'd never been in a fight with this guy before? No. Tonight. Did you know if he, uh, did, do you know if he was like a violent guy? Do you, do you know I, I, know, I know that he, he had tried to just start a fight before at the pocket and then his friends didn't want to fight and they told me they were going to wait for me in the parking lot. That's all I knew of him before that. And you know, before the pocket I've seen him. Mm -hmm. I may have seen him at a party or something, but I've never talked to him. So I think my buddy Kate might know who he is better. Once you got to the gas station, did you get a ride from there? <coughs> yes, I went in, got a bottle of water, and I got some cigarettes. And I talked to the gas station attendant, told him what happened. Um, and I'm telling him what happened, and as I'm telling him, there was a lady behind me standing in line. And and I just said, oh my God, blah, 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 you know, can I give you a ride? And he said, sure, yeah, I'll take a ride. Just some random lady, did you get her name or anything? No. And she took you right over to. <coughs> she took me to the trailer park. To the trailer park. Yep. Okay. And then once you got over there, what what did you do? I went Obviously in. Obviously, 